Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Corridor Design Series. In this video, I'll show you how I created this menu flyer inside of Corridor. Alright, inside of Corridor. So if you don't mind, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification so you miss any of the video posting anytime from now. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, click on File and click on New. I'm just going to give you the name here. So it's just simple. Um, it's going to be Food Menu yeah, RGB and um, 4x5 inches, please. 4x5 and resolution stays at 300 and just click OK like this. Okay, so when you do that, well, you will get up with this. So double click on the rectangle to give it a color. Then remove outline like this just right click to remove the outline all right great so what you want to do next is um, click and apply this color I don't want to use the white color so ctrl C ctrl V to make a duplicate of this shape ctrl C and ctrl V just use ctrl C and ctrl V right so I'm just going to do ctrl C ctrl V and bring the duplicated copy down i'm just going to change the color like this and bring this down like this all right so what you should do next is um convert to curve right so go and click on convert to curve so this is it here so when you do that go over to your shape tool and click on the shape tool and um, hold down shift while dragging this point down like this okie dokie great okay so what you want to do next is when you see the s here right click and click on to curve and take this up like this right just like this so what you want to do is go back to your selection tool or your pick to make a duplicate copy of this so with this one what you want to do is change the color i can use white here now move this up just small not too much Right click and click on order and click on back one. So it takes it to the back of this first gray one that we had. Ctrl Z. Right? So you have two shapes. Ctrl Z. Great. So um, this is a great way to actually start. And select the two of them and uh, bring it down like this. So what you want to do next is go over to your ellipse tool. Um, I'm going to do that again. Okay, I'm going to give this, I think, a red color for now. But this red is too sharp. I don't want it like this. So hold down control on your keyboard while you click on this black. So you can just click like five times. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I did that five times. So go back to your ellipse tool and draw a perfect shape like this. And give it a white color like this remove the outline All right go back to your selection to make a duplicate um, duplicate copy of this and um, hold down shift while you put this inside like this so i can give this another color right so with this selected i'm just going to mark you select this and um, ctrl c ctrl v to duplicate this and make this one bigger and put it somewhere here so it's not giving me enough space so I'm just going to mark you select the two of them make sure you mark you is selecting the two of them you can see the two of them so I'm just reducing the size like this I'm just going to drag it up like this so I'm just going to mark you select only this first one I'll do that again make sure you are doing well from the outside So I'll do that again. Like you select this and uh, make it slightly smaller. Hold down the shift key while you make it smaller. It's just slightly. So, but then you can see that this one is bigger than the first one. So that's the scope. Now I have my layout. You can see how important it is when you get your layout well in the first place, right? So next thing I'm going to be doing is some uh, things here. So go over to your pen tool. So I'm just going to click here. Okay, now this is a trick. 
when you're using your pen to make sure this first one the other one is not selected because you're just going to end up doing things like this and it's not going to be clicking so make sure you uncheck this and only the first one is selected so you can now click 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 like this and um, you can see it's only this one is selected so you can then change the color i'm going to select the same red apply to it so you can go to the color picker and just select it hold down control while you click on this black to make it darker of course remove the outline right so what you want to do next is ctrl c ctrl v uh, before you do that just extend it to this point and um, what you want to do next is ctrl c ctrl v a duplicate copy of this right so and click let me show you what I did so I made a copy of this so what you want to do is click on this to mirror it to the other side and take this up like this so I want to make this lighter so I'll just add some red to it to make it lighter you can see how easy it is to actually mix colors in curl draw so bring this upward and uh, select this sorry select this and select this you selected the two of them expand out like this and what you want to do is go to big map convert to big map and click ok like this everything stays the same basically so put this out right click and click on power clip inside when this arrow pops out click on this shape right click on the edit and um, bring this down inside of the shape when you are done just click outside or click finish right or click finish uh, okay i'll apply some transparency to it just click this once when you're done just click finish right great um good to go good to go good to go okay so let's move on um as in the previous video these resource files are in the link of the description of this video so do well to get them and um, make use of them so i had to go over to type everything typeable so that we don't spend much time inside of this video All right so i have my text here so i'm just going to move it in place while i change the color like this so you might you can ungroup them and change the color for them or maybe you want the menu to be a different color and all of that All right great so um, the next thing you want to do is um, slightly increase this so um, you want to increase this just slightly um, okay that, that's not slightly that's a um, little slightly um, okay so um, but you get right so I'm going to leave it at this point it's okay and it's perfect select the shape um, and um, would want to put in our images into the shapes uh, go over to your resource file and um, i'm going to bring in my first image which is this image here so i'm just going to basically drag and drop and um, reduce the size of the image like this right reduce it again just like this and we want to place it inside of this container so what do you do right click and click on power clip inside and select the container right edit and um, move it upward hold down shift while you resize this move it upward again and when you are done click on finish there you go first image in place mission accomplished so let's move on to the second one so let's select our second image which is this image nice looking um fufu and egusi i guess so uh, what you want to do is very very simple with this selected first make this smaller good not too small right so right click on it and click on power clip inside point with the arrow and put it inside here click on edit and um, you want to position this well to the right place it's supposed to be you can see that I'm using this line as a guide you can see this blue line right uh, you see this blue line that's what i'm using as a guide 
so make sure anything you are doing is not shorter than those lines that you are seeing make sure you can have it more than the lines but make sure it's not smaller than the line bring this in also drag and drop means of drag and drop right great make this smaller i'm going to put it here so what you want to do is right click like i did for others and uh, let's see let's see let's see okay click and uh, right click and select clipping mask and place it inside here you can see that this one too has positioning problems so what you want to do is double click and uh, expand it so all those white areas are outside the confinement of that blue line right so when you do this what you want to do next is click on finish boom so you can make this a little bit smaller so it's not too big um, so make this white instead right so balanced up like that okay so uh with this copy i'm going to select the eyedropper to select um a lighter shade of the yellow and apply it here like this so what i'm going to do with this is um i'm going to send it back like i'm going to take it behind so how do i do that i'm going to hold down ctrl shift and page down or shift page down to take it down gradually right so this is it here so it's behind like this i'm just going to hold down shift while i increase it up hold down shift increase it up until you have something like this right and uh, move this downward a bit click on it again control page down so that um, you don't have it in front it's just behind this shape here like this but so we want to make another one here just the same style we did for that so control c and control v first um, right so give it the same color so we're going to apply a different approach to this so apply transparency to it first Go over to your pen tool like this click on this point here and also click on this point here like this right now go over to your shape tool and um, right click and uh, take this up like this right so what you want to do when that is done select the ellipse itself which is this one here go over to your transparency click on this first one to turn it off right good so what you want to do is go over to um yeah this one you're still selecting the ellipse so go over to smart fill and click here so you can see you just feel this with another color so you can get rid of this ellipse or circle yeah delete it um, change this one color to yellow click on this line this line delete it and remove the outline from this guy here great okay so what you want to do with this is send it to the back so control page down several times and um, once it gets to the back like this, control page up when you don't see it again and leave it this way. So I'm going to select all of this and reduce the size and um, because I need some extra details at the side, right? So having done that, what I would like to do is go back to my resource file and bring in my QR code. Right? The next thing is I'm going to make it smaller. 
like this of course I want to get rid of all these edges so I'm just going to highlight this place bring it down I'm using my shape tool, please bring it down highlight this place bring it down highlight this place also bring it down and uh, make it smaller still make it smaller so it can fit into this part but it's not going to be appropriate like this here so go back to your rectangle too and um, you want to draw a rectangle here ctrl z draw a rectangle like this i'm just going to target this place and um, click and drop like this change yeah change the color to white and please whatever you do remove the outline Control page down and um, there you go so I'm just going to go and select my text and I'm just going to write something a call to action kind of okay so basically it's going to be scan this to other and I'm gonna put it just here right I'm gonna change the font because I have no business with area fonts right so scan this to other and um, there you go right so just leave it there so what I want to do is a couple of adjustments click on the food make sure it's selected go to effects go to adjust click on auto adjust now coral draw would automatically adjust this image for you to suit your taste right double click on this one also i hope you are not getting hungry watching this um effects and um go over to adjust and uh, select auto adjust guys auto adjust you can see it has adjusted it click on finish and i'm going to do the same thing to to the last one um finish great so i might just i'll just decide to leave this like this and there you go guys this is how i created this menu inside of coral draw if you like my video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on post notification i'll see you in my next video i love you guys bye